Hey, Sean here from SpeedQBView.com. MGC Evo version 2. This seemed to show up and then disappear real fast in the public discourse. Let's see why. <laughs> Couple things just about the MGC line. When the first MGC came out from YJ, it was different, it was interesting, they're obviously trying something new, and it felt different from everything else out there. It was nice, but I think because it was so different, it kind of just went away. Then we had the version 2. Version 2 was much more a standard type puzzle, and it performed really well. What happened was there was a couple people that on YouTube said that they didn't like it and it was catchy. It wasn't. It wasn't any more catchy than any other major puzzle. And because of that, it just, like, bombed. And then there's been this negative connotation, I think, since. Now, my only thing is I don't really like that spacing in that logo. YJ says it, it's, it's, it's beautiful, it's perfect, but... Mm. Anyways, version 2 of the MGC Evo. Got our bag in here. Nothing else really crazy. Let's look at the cube. Let's get right to it. Okay, right off the bat, a couple things. Matte plastic... Um, piece shape is pretty standard. We have magnet adjustment. Looks like six different adjustment settings. What's under the, the hood? Wow, okay. A lot of adjustments there. Let's, be, before I do anything, what does all that mean? Okay, so with the screwdriver, you have six different adjustment settings for the magnets. It doesn't say which is stronger. I'm assuming six is. Then the attention settings. 11 tension levels. Number 0 through 10 in the tensioning slots are for different elasticity levels. I love that they're actually using elasticity levels. That's what I tend to just call it. Is that it? Is there no... Okay, I don't... so I don't think there's anything to make this the actual depth of the centerpiece different, which is fine. I did... For this one, I'm okay with that, but that's my personal preference. Magnets are quite strong right now. Size? What are we looking at here? What do we got as far as size? 55. Okay. So the corner cutting here goes to about 45 before it starts locking up a bit. However, that doesn't really matter. In a full solve, that standalone corner cutting does really nothing. I like the way it feels. A little papery gives me a feng shi feeling to it for us older cubers. Um, let's just do a solve without any adjustments bring my camera over so I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, I need to slow this down. This is fast. I like it, though. Fascinating. Okay. I want to add a little bit of lubrication just to smooth it out a bit and slow it down a little bit. It's, it's, yeah, it's way too fast. We'll just start with some Lunar. I'm liking the stability. It's a, it's quite a stable feeling puzzle, but it doesn't have like anything in the centers to align it, to stabilize it. It doesn't have core magnets or edge magnets, but it has a very stable feel to it. It's a fun feeling puzzle. It's crazy that you can go clockwise and counterclockwise. And it still performs, it still like does the same thing. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Yeah, let's see what happens if we turn this up a little bit. Here's kind of an interesting dilemma. I like the way this feels. It performs well. But with the core magnet systems that people have been adding, both... Chi and Moyu and Gan, this feels like an old puzzle suddenly. Yeah, this puzzle is $22, which for that price, I'm not sure. Okay. It's a fine puzzle. It's it does it's reminiscent of the former MGC. It definitely has a feeling that feels quite different from any other one that's out there. It it has a 
very stable and um, almost sandyish quality. Yeah, it, this has the most, and I think I might have said this last time, if Feng Shi came out with a, you know, a new Shreng Wen, Shreng, Shreng Wen, you know what I'm trying to say if you uh, <laughs> had one, this would be it. It, it, it has that feeling of it, but I don't know. I think the community is past that feeling of puzzle. And we went to like really solid puzzles, ones that like the Dian Tengyun and the Gan X. And then we went to very light puzzles like the Gan and papery the thin puzzles like the Gan 11. And um, what else was around that era that had a similar feeling? I don't know. And then we've kind of shifted. We're starting to shift back in different directions. But I don't know if this is really what the community is going for right now. Is it good? Yeah. And, and if it's on sale, get it. But for over $20, there's nothing super special about this. Um, it's just another puzzle. So if you're looking for something different and you have all the other ones, this is different. That's about all I can say about it. So thank you much for watching. Leave me your thoughts uh, in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and keep watching Speed QB View for my news and reviews.